Today, guys, we're putting the rain in Rainier. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is my last full day at Rainier National Park. I'm one of the very few people who are actually left in the park, it seems. I mean, I haven't gone down all of the loops and stuff, but I could see people in the distance before and hear a lot of noises all the days before. And I'm pretty sure once it started raining, everyone just like skated out. So I'm <laughs> like, I'm gonna tough it out and see what I can do. I don't know if you could tell, but it's very wet out here. I'm only out here filming right now because it's like a brief moment where the rain let up. I've been sitting in my car so <laughs> unfortunately it's like an 85% chance of rain like all day through the night until probably midday tomorrow so <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I, I don't know if I want to get that wet you know. I mean this jacket I'm wearing is pretty waterproof. I shouldn't say this jacket is waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. And I do have a rain poncho. Problem with that though is they never put sleeves on them, so this part would get totally drenched. But yeah, for the most part, water just runs off this jacket. Anyway, enough about my cool jacket. <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> So I could go on like a small hike if I can find one, preferably one under trees, like a woodsy one where I'd be sheltered from getting drenched. I've gotten drenched a lot in the last couple weeks and I'm kind of ready to just play cool. <laughs> yeah, cool and dry, preferably. <laughs> As you can see, I got my tent covered with a tarp. I got one just big enough to pretty much cover it. I just sort of like tie out some of these corners here just to make sure it's not leaking on anything but it's very dry inside and that's what's important on a day like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and figure out what I can do today. I'll try and see if I can make it interesting. I pretty much did all the trails and stuff that I wanted to do while I was here. It's too bad I did that uh, general store and Trail of the Shadows yesterday because that that's like a perfect little hike. It's perfect things to do for a day like this, but um, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to try and find something else. I got another whole day. I'm going to make the most of it however possible. Hey guys, so I'm at the Twin First Trail. It seemed like the perfect trail to do on a rainy day just because it's only 0.4 miles. It's like a 0.4 mile loop. It starts right here, and the loop just comes out right over there. So let's check it out. It looks pretty shaded from the rain in there. It should be pretty sweet. tree trunk is if I stand next to it. So I guess this fallen trunk is only tall on one side. The other side's like this platform. Pretty crazy. It's 
This part isn't really part of the trail, it looks like. It just, it's a little detour off to the side at the beginning. I think it's just because of these two trees, like this one, this massive tree right here, and then, man, a raindrop fell right on my lens. And this tree over here, which is about the same size, I didn't even see this third one over here. I walked right by it. This one's just as huge. All three of these trees are big, but I'm assuming these twin firs, when I find them, will be even bigger. Okay, I'm still by the road, but this tree, it's even more massive than all three of those over there. Imagine how beautiful all these mossy trees are in the sunlight. Yeah, with all this moisture in the northwest, you can really see how everything stays so green even into October. Okay, this trail is amazing because <laughs> I keep thinking I've seen a big tree and then you get to the next part of the trail and there's an even bigger tree. This tree is even bigger than the last tree that I was just standing in front of. Just to give you some perspective, I'm gonna walk up to it. Okay, about now I'm expecting these twin firs to be pretty gigantic. Man, here's another huge tree. I won't pose in front of all of them, but I don't know if you could tell by now, that's a really big tree. A little bit smaller than that last one, but still. There's like so many huge trees out here. It's kind of surprising too, because I've driven by this a lot of times and like no one's been parked here. Like, <laughs> so I, I think it's just some little loop on the map and people think it's not going to be much, but I'm so far I'm very impressed myself.
Well, this trail actually climbs. I wasn't expecting this to be an uphill hike at all. Thought it was just some flat little loop. Another massive tree. So you can kind of see how big it is from this side. And then just up the trail is yet another massive huge tree. I bet you can guess what we're going to find after that. <laughs> yet another huge tree. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> These firs better be big for it to be named after them. Okay, here's something a little bit different now. Here's another massive tree. <laughs> no, but actually this one's all blowed up. <laughs> the whole top's like cracked off right here. Just too bad. I'm sure it was once like a towering giant, you know? Now it's this high. <laughs> There's a huge one sort of hiding off to the side there. So the trail came up and now it goes back down. I didn't see any signs for these are the twin firs or whatever. So perhaps it was one of those back there, but I didn't see any like set of two trees standing next to each other or anything to make it obvious. Nevertheless, this is a great hike with arboreal giants everywhere. So yeah, there's another huge tree. So right off the path here, there's another tree over here with a massive trunk. And unfortunately, I think when all the bark's, when it's smooth like that, I think it's probably dead, sadly. But, but yeah, you can tell how big it is even from here if you look at all the other trees. That's a normal sized tree. These are all normal sized trees around it, you know, and then you got this was that? <laughs> Bye. 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 Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's a little bit too far. So yeah, I guess you could count the rings on this and technically see how old it is, but if you look really closely, there's like a lot of them. So this tree was really old. Downright elderly. But yeah, this side isn't as broken, so you can see how there's a lot more rings. Well guys, I've reached like pretty much the end of the trail. I didn't see which ones were the twin firs. That was not obvious at all. Uh, I will just get one last shot with this beauty because this is an, another really big tree right here. After that, I guess I'm signing off.
thanks again guys for watching. I tried to do as much as I could on this trip and I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, blah blah blah. I hate saying that, but it would be cool if I knew people were watching this. <laughs> All right, anyway, you guys are much appreciated. Anyone who cares enough to see these places as much as I do, I guess. I mean, I don't care if you care about my videos as much, but or what I'm saying, you know, like, but I'm hoping most of my watchers are like nature enthusiasts, you know, or like fellow hikers or just people who are curious about going places. I mean, that that's the kind of thing that like drives me. So anyway, thanks again for the last time. <laughs> okay. Thanks again one more time and see you guys in the next one. Thank you.